Hello viewers, Super GT here. I'm back on F122. Yes, another video on this glorious game. You thought I was done with just one video, but no. We're going to go in for another one where there's sure to be a fair amount of carnage. And would I finally unlock the rare sofa? That's the pressing question we all want to know the answer to. So let's jump into the first race, shall we? And it's everyone's worst nightmare when you see the word France appear on the screen. Because that means Paul Ricard, the very confusing labyrinth of a circuit, which is sure to cause a massive mess. So let's take a look at aforementioned massive mess. Going into the first corner of the first lap of the first race of this video. Okay, right, starting second. I'm going through turn one and no no one no one crashed. And through turn two, also no one crashed. And it's, I don't know if this is the right game. This is the right game, isn't it? Because um, people are supposed to crash. Well, I, I'm sure the crashes will happen at some point. So I find myself in second. I'm in the uh, the classic Williams as uh, as ever, and I haven't done this track in a long time. I can't remember how sharp these corners are at the end of this this lap. So I'm a little bit wide there. I think it's fair to say. Although I'm holding my own in second, so I'm doing a pretty decent job until well, I mean, I don't know what that corner was. That was way wider than Mark. And then this is a shocking display of driving, just losing control all over the curb. And I should be ashamed of myself, really. And oh my goodness, that was a close call. With that red ball flying through their gap. And suddenly, look at this. I find myself right in the mid-pack. Oh my goodness, there's a massive horde of cars right around me. I was okay in second, but now I'm right in the thick of it. This Ferrari and Alfa Romeo collide, and I go right through the middle of them both. Absolutely incredible scenes here. And again, still the massive horde lurking in the near middle distance behind this guy cuts the corner massively and surely is going to have to surrender the position the mclaren goes through nice little move there must be said the alpha does indeed surrender the position and we're going to move on a little bit here to lap four up behind breaker the bunny the uh the well-known greatest of all time driver really until this moment where he just decides do a bit of Tokyo Drift here in France and says goodbye to whatever position he was in, 8th. Now, I thought I was going to finish 8th, right? Uh, but then this this rather calamitous moment occurred. Let's take a look at these two guys. Oh my goodness, a shameful display of driving there from the, from the Red Bull driver. And guys, I mean, what on earth is... What even was that? I don't know, but there I go. I find myself up in P6. And, uh, you know, the universe has a long... Oh, I was about to say the universe and the stars have aligned, but clearly not because I'm about to finish fifth until the worst sight you can ever come across. A slow back marker on the final lap. The house robot. The Mercedes house robot is here to take me out. But uh, does an absolutely dismal job. You're going to have to do better than that, mate. You want to wipe me out. And then we finish P5 after starting P2. Not good enough, really. But take a look at this podium ceremony, this poor engineer. Look at that look of horror upon his face as the driver unreservedly murders him up, up on the podium and uh, absolutely ruthless from this guy. Absolutely savage stuff. Well, we're going to move on because this is the greatest moment that we've all been waiting for where I'm going to unlock the rare seating sofa. All I had to do all along was purchase VIP. And I become the greatest Formula One driver of all time. He's done it! Would you believe it? That sums it all up. No one has ever done that. No one has ever. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I have officially completed F122. I unlocked the rare sofa, uh, unlocked a trophy, presumably for becoming the GOAT. No one has ever done that in the history of Formula One. Hamilton, Schumacher, Senna, Clark, Fangio, you name them. 
none of them have unlocked that sofa and I have so I'm the best driver that has ever lived and there's just no doubt about that I mean you'd be quite silly to argue against it really wouldn't you but <laughs> uh, starting a P7 in this one which was actually slowest out of everyone who actually qualified properly but we find ourselves here at Red Bull Ring starting P7 let's try and have a good start launch off the line and actually it was flying past the Red Bull and the Ferrari immediately into fifth bit of wheel banging Williams goes sideways Ferrari to the side of him I'm going to have to take evasive action over the extra runoff there and I find myself up in P5 and I'll take that I've gained two positions I'm going to take a nice inside line this is not going to be the cleanest move you've ever seen um, but when you've unlocked a rare seating sofa then you can kind of do what you want I mean that gives you the keys to basically do any sort of crime you, you basically get excused from any sort of crime for your entire life really but immediately in this race there was a safety car so we had to slow down and eventually once the racing got back underway I was on the charge I was in P4 looking to try and catch up to try to achieve a podium position really get into grips with this McLaren there's a big huddle of cars up behind and I'm uh, I'm really quite sure that I do not want to be in that group uh, warning for exceeding track limits there but then on the exit we're going to get a nice little boost here use the overtake button go flying through up into p3 and that's a good little overtake done there good use of the ers and we move up into the podium so actually a decent run so far from p7 on the grid ers enabled now take a look at this right you see the proximity arrow. He's gone for the move up at turn one. It's just it's just not really going to work, is it? It's not going to work. There was contact on the apex. And then you find yourselves going perpendicular to the racing line into the barrier or barrier. And yeah, just, just not a good decision really to go for a move there. He had the DRS. He could have just done it into turn three very easily. Uh, so decision making, I'll say three out of ten there. Execution, like zero. Um, but we, we move on and uh, I get myself my first three second penalty which was it was bound to happen at some point it's just the nature of the game really up into turn three then on the brakes on the hundred board it's amazing how late you can break into the into this corner up the hill I'm catching up with Hamburg bro as uh, we get another safety car and this is really a theme of F122 the fact that it's just not very safe online everyone crashes every five seconds so lots of safety cars Bert Mylander probably win the race because he, he's just doing every lap because he's out all the time I forget to do the turn in thing because I just always forget about that now in this game uh, so the McLaren boys just artificially do my stop really slow not that it mattered really because we were just joining a safety car queue I was still behind Hamburg bro so it didn't really change anything now this safety car period I mean it's a bit of a theme of this video chaos because this guy overtakes me uh, so it tells me to go back past him and then he's out of the race uh, which makes no sense because he definitely wasn't out of the race so I go back past him back into the position I was then these two guys start going at it just we'll just just take a look at this ding dong battle under the safety car let's let's bear in mind here guys um, you know you're supposed to be in single file formation and not you're not meant to be ramming each other off. That's not really... It's kind of frowned upon in Formula 1 to do that. It's frowned upon to do it any time, but especially under the safety car when there's marshals on the track, you know. Really dangerous. Hamburg bro then goes into the pits. He says he's out of the race. I don't think he is out of the race. He's just going in the pit lane. So I'm not sure what is going on with these graphics. Now we go into a cutscene, and then I kind of forget to regain control of the car, so I drive off the track distracted i was probably on my phone again something else you should be doing under a safety car is getting your phone out and taking a look at your twitter messages um i'm not sure like the likes of verstappen and hamilton do that i tried to get my position back and completely made a faff of it uh spinning out this ferrari goes really slow so i go back past them to try to regain my position but that was illegal i have no idea what's going on anymore but then i thought you know what that car is going so slow that even if it gives me a five second penalty I'm going to gain five seconds by overtaking them so this wasn't actually so much of a bad decision to get this five second penalty here 
and uh, racing is back underway after that absolute mess of a safety car period. But trust me guys, there's worse to come in this video in terms of safety cars, which are not very safe at all. Now, take a look at this uh, double team action from the Alpha Tauri team here. Absolutely incredible scenes. So first car knocks off the, the Alpine, the second one finishes off the job. Great double team action, pincer attack, and uh, he stood no chance. And uh, that moved me up into P4, then P3 after I go for the move on one of the Alpha Tauris. Can we get the other one? Let's take a look into the sweeping final sector. Not an easy place to go for a move. Or we could perhaps size one up on the exit of the upcoming left-right. Let's take a look. We're going to hit the overtake button. We go for the overtake exactly at the moment that a safety car gets deployed. And I go into the back of the car in front, get a five-second penalty as I was really going for it and you know obviously I'm the worst human on the planet uh, that you know very much deserved a five second penalty so I had to react within 0.0000001 seconds whilst going for an overtake this time I did actually press uh, the X button to turn into my pit box the McLaren boys there waiting so I could serve the penalty and then uh, pulling off a 2.2 second stop which is amazing now this is where things went a bit downhill for me in this race because it did mention earlier that it was going to rain and I kind of forgot to change on to inters or wets. I thought, you know, with three laps to go, maybe I could just survive because it wasn't really heavy, the rain. So I thought, all right, let's go for it. The cars around me are on inters or some, there's a bit of a mix to be fair. Some on soft, some on medium, that car going very slow. We gained a position up into P6 up the hill, up behind the Aston Martin. This will be a true test of grip as we come through here. Very, very awkward indeed. Lots of collisions, lots of carnage. And then take a look up ahead here. The Alpha Tauri. He's really, he's really going at it today, is this guy in the Alpha Tauri. And uh, he ends up going wide. Then I get a warning, because that was an illegal overtake, obviously, even though he just drove wide by himself. Then the Aston Martin gets run off into the into the barrier. So it really is kicking off. And I would say there's an incident every 0.4 seconds on average in F122. I, that just seems to be the way that it is. That's just the, the nature of this game. It is just an absolute calamity. It really does kick off very often in very big ways. Now, this was a rather funny incident. Watch this Aston Martin. He tries to swipe the Red Bull and completely fails. And then has himself a nice perpendicular meeting with Barry R. So well done on that, mate. Fantastic. So I've gained a position. I'm up into P5. The grip is getting worse. The rain is getting slightly heavier here in the Austrian mountains. And I've got an eight second penalty. So I'm just desperately hanging on here. I'm probably going to lose some positions with that penalty. But all I can do is try to bring it to the end. There's no point in pitting now. It's too late. It's far too late for that. I get a three second penalty there. Uh, going wide even though it was on you know it's obviously wet and I'm on slicks and I got kind of pushed a tiny bit but obviously you know that's my fault and the game is not gonna the game's not gonna be nice to you you know in terms of penalties you have to be absolutely on the track at all times it's not gonna take any oh my goodness okay that was a mistake bit of a lack of grip there but obviously I've gained time out of that three second penalty You're not allowed to go off the track even if you definitely lost time 14 seconds of penalties now. This is uh, a shameful display. Quite, quite awful. After it was going so well early on. It was going so well. And then now I find myself... Well, I'm in P6, but I'm going to lose a few more positions. Coming down here, the Ferrari house robot decides... Well, the stewards deploy him to wipe me out after my shameful display of corner cutting. And um, perhaps they sh that's how they should do it in real life. You know, if you get a penalty, someone comes out and tries to ram you off. That's your punishment. That would be quite interesting to watch, actually. Uh, so I find myself still in P6. And oh, the house robot spins off. I almost spin off in sympathy. And then at the end of the race, crossing the line in P6 with zero grip, zero traction. We managed to get the car over the line. Losing a couple of positions down into, where is it, P8, I think. Not that it really matters. And then we have another case here of identical triplets on the podium for the first time 
since uh, well since the last game actually and then the winner is it any surprise they had the rare pose the uh, karate chop rare pose I really need to unlock that otherwise I've just got no chance of winning now the next start was at Kota and Hamburg bro there just driving off nice and early surely that's got to be a penalty I'm not sure <laughs> maybe it's worth doing that just getting the penalty up into turn one you've got a perpendicular McLaren blocking the circuit getting smashed about like a rag doll <laughs> and then down the hill um, immediately we have a safety car within 20 seconds of the race beginning then the Red Bull drives off stage left into the into the wall and can I just draw attention to this part guys this is surely the worst 30 seconds of safety car I've ever seen in my life that the Alpha Tower is trying to drive through each other then he goes invisible then that has comes out of nowhere then I have to return the position, obviously, because I did something really bad there. So I hand it back. Then this red ball comes out of nowhere, smashes into the Alpine in a premeditated attack. Then this McLaren gets murdered. What is going on? Seriously, this is an absolute mess. But it really is just par for the course on F122. But eventually, we were ready to go racing once again, heading towards the final corner. And actually, look, we're in somewhat single file after a couple of laps of safety car which wasn't very safe and this is where my fortunes would take a nosedive as we head into the final corner we haven't even crossed the start line yet and boom williams and mclaren out of nowhere and before you know it you're in the shadow realm i've retired from the race and not just the race from formula one entirely and perhaps from the f122 game as well what a sad moment Perhaps if I unlock the karate chop pose, things could be different. But for now, that's the end of this one. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.